Shocking, shocking, shocking news today I have for you. Now, Prince William is facing a new round of accusations about his alleged affair with Rose Hanbury on Twitter. Now, my name is Brian and welcome back to Sussex Squad Family TV. Kindly hit the like and subscribe button for daily and consistent content. Now, on Twitter in particular, there is no faster way to start a fire than by mentioning Rose Hanbury, the beautiful woman whom Prince William had an affair with while his wife Kate Middleton was pregnant with their third child, Louis. Now, Rose Hanbury is a mushy owner and a former close friend of Kate Milton, the Duchess of Cambridge. And unfortunately, the rumored mistress of Prince William, Duke, Duke of Cambridge. I mean, let's go back. Why would Prince William, after so many years of showing support to his mother, Princess Diana, and calling out the toxicity of the UK tabloids suddenly join the UK tabloids and begin calling his mother paranoid. Why would he do that? A mother who was chased by British tabloids to her death. Paparazzi chased Princess Diana in Paris to her death. That was not a paranoid woman. That was not a paranoid woman, but Prince William called her that. Now, why would he do that? Why would Prince William do such a thing? Why would he cheat on his wife after what happened to his mother, after what he saw, the pain, the pain, the pain and anguish his mother, Princess Diana, went through with Charles cheating on them, cheating on Princess Diana and even marrying the woman she cheated he cheated on with Camilla. Prince Charles married Camilla. Perhaps my thoughts are Prince William finally accepted himself and he saw what he was doing to his wife and he saw that he was no different to Prince Charles. He saw that he took after Prince Charles and couldn't deny who he was. So Prince William clearly has taken after his daddy, Prince Charles, in cheating on their wives. Now, don't get me wrong. After what Kate Middleton did to Meghan in her own wedding, in Meghan's wedding, making Megan cry, then going to Camilla Tomine is a liar and lying, lying to her teeth that Megan was the one who made her cry. That making Megan be racially abused by so many trolls, Twitter accounts were formed just to insult Megan for that lie told by Camilla Tomine. And today also, when I was searching Meghan Markle News. I was actually, I just typed in on YouTube, Meghan Markle News. The first thing that I saw today, and it really, really hurt me, it really, really hurt me as a member of the Sussex Squad, is that a hate account, a hate account, stands at the top of searches for Meghan, Duchess of Sussex. Someone smearing her, inciting hate against Meghan. And what I've noticed about these troll accounts is one thing, is that whenever they talk about Prince William, when you look at their videos, please don't go ahead and look at them. Today, I, searched, I, I went in that road. I went through that road and it was a painful road for me. Please don't do it. But I typed in, look, I'll tell you what happened today. Today, I typed in Meghan Markle News on YouTube. And the first thing that I saw was a hate account. A hate account which, st which stood at the top of the searches. So whenever someone or people from all across the world 
Meaning, when they search for Meghan Markle news, the first thing that they see is a hate account. That's the sad state of social media that I have seen. And it really, really hurts. It really, really hurts. Megan, who has helped so many people, who has touched the lives of so many charities, has to put up with this because of the smear campaign waged against her by the firm and the UK tabloids. Causing people to form hate accounts to incite hate against Megan. I've seen a body language someone who the only topic of conversation that they ever talk about is just Megan. They can't even see themselves that they're being so racist towards Megan. It's so disgusting. It's so, it's so disgusting today. The things I've seen today have hurt me to the core and it really, really personally hurts and has hit my personal emotions really, really hard today. And I felt really, really down. But then I remembered what Megan said. Megan said this, For the sake of your personal mental health, please don't read the tabloids. He told us that. And then I got up and I felt much better. And I stopped thinking about it. And I, But I had to say today to each and every single one of you how my day was today. That was what I saw and it really made me sad today. And now we know the moment when Prince William was being accused or British tabloids were about to publish reports of Prince William having an infidelity with Rose Hanbury cheating on his wife Kate Middleton or better yet say having an affair with Rose Hanbury. Immediately that happened. What happened was that Stories about Meghan Markle came out. Now what Prince William did was British tabloids wanted Meghan. So in exchange for them covering up for Prince William's infidelity, lawyers for Prince William and Prince William's communication team struck a bargain with UK tabloids in exchange for handing over information on Meghan to the UK tabloids in exchange those infidelity or rumors of an affair of Prince William and Rose Hanbury were swept under the rug. But this carnival of so-called experts always give people subtle coverage or information about what happened. Now, rumors of an affair between William and William and Hanbury, Rose Hanbury, first set Twitter ablaze in 2019 with claims that William had cheated on Kate during her pregnancy with her third child, Prince Louis. When a British publication published details of their affair in April, William took immediate legal action against them and sent a warning to other outlets, forbidding them from repeating the false and highly damaging claims first published in the US outlet In Touch. And yes, you're correct. This was all happening in the same timeline in which Meghan Markle was being told to keep quiet, keep quiet Meghan, and limit her responses to the media's unfair and inflammatory stories about her. Remember what Meghan said in the Oprah interview. If you open your eyes, you will see what happened. Open your eyes and see what happened. They were willing to lie to protect other members of the royal family, but were unwilling to tell the truth about me and my husband. Remember what Megan said in the Oprah interview. If you remember, you will clearly understand and every single piece will fit into its puzzle. And every single piece is actually fitting in the puzzle. Now what Prince William did, as I have said, is strike bargains with UK tabloids in exchange for leaking information about Megan. His rumors with Rose Hanbury would be swept under the rug. And it has gone on to this day. And they keep doing it even when Megan doesn't even live in the UK anymore. Remember, Megan left. Then they accused her of bullying. A woman openly bullied and harassed 
by UK tabloids every single day was accused of bullying. Can you believe that? Can you believe that? A woman openly harassed and bullied by UK tabloids was actually accused of bullying. And every single person in the world knows what happened to Megan. We all know what happened to Megan. Now, while Williams warning to the British media seemed to have sufficiently silenced the press at the time, journalist Alex Tiffin resurfaced the issue on Twitter on December 28, 2021, responding to a Daily Mail editor's tweet about Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Once again, smear Meghan and Harry. And they don't even, Harry and Meghan don't even live in the UK anymore. But this time, Twitter and Sussex fans were not having it. So, it was revealed about Prince William's affair. And now this tweet was followed up saying, Injunctions from the High Court of London in London are worthless in Scotland. My residence and no amount of legal pressure is going to arrest the fact Prince William had an affair with Rose Hanbury. Enjoy your evening. This tweet was sent out by Alex Tiffin, a Twitter user, was sent out this, this tweet. Now, Tiffin alluded once more to William's legal action against British outlets before wrapping up his comments. Multiple UK news outlets have had evidence of the affair and his other comments. Some even spoke of them on this site before legal threats saw them delete. In exchange, they were handed Megan over. Leaking information, stories about Megan suddenly began to come out. And as we now know, leaks comes from Kensington Palace through personal admission of carnival of so-called experts. They've all said the same thing. Now, we'll continue this with part two. With so much love, stay tuned for our next video. Thank you for liking and tweet the hashtag Prince William Affair. The world deserves to know. They cannot keep harassing Megan and covering up for Prince William. Going into the next year, 2022, we won't have it. We will not have it. Now stay tuned for our next video. Hello, Sussex Court Family TV on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed our video podcast today. Kindly like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Your support means the absolute world to us. Please like, like, and subscribe. Help us grow our family on YouTube. Stay tuned for our next video.